guys, it's February 20th and it is induction day. I am 41 weeks today. <sighs> 41 weeks and today I'm going to go get induced. So literally in an hour or two, we're heading out and I've never had an induction. This is totally different than anything I have ever done. But um, we're excited. I'm a tad bit nervous, but we're going to see how it goes. It is my fifth, so everything's clean, everything's ready. Uh, my mom's gonna stay with the four boys. And we're gonna have a baby. Probably not today, tomorrow. So I'm gonna try to vlog as best as I can, but I know my hospital doesn't allow videoing, so you probably won't video the birth, but we'll try to get in as much as like the labor and the after and everything like that. So hope you guys enjoy it. I'm super nervous. I'm gonna hop in the shower and we're gonna leave pretty soon. So it is, we're getting induced at 4 p.m. So wish me luck, you guys. King. <laughs> and I just noticed on the navigation it says Autumn Street. <laughs> Wanted to make sure that she saw that. She was going on Autumn Street her last to have meal. her. Oop. <laughs> it's canceled. Her last last meal last is the Burger King. Burger King, the chicken the chicken crispy. crispy. And he's getting a spicy chicken crispy. <laughs> and uh daddy's last shirt <laughs> Nike camo shirt before he's now has five kids we're here at the hospital <laughs> dad's carrying my bag like a sweetheart <laughs> Show them how sore this part is. Only two times? Ooh, gross. I know, that looks nice. Oh, sick. That would still hurt more than that. Oh, look at our beautiful view. Yeah. Bunch of old buildings. expecting them to bring me dinner but since I'm not on um, Pitocin they just gave me the little pill and I'm supposed to take half of that every four hours and they're gonna monitor me for two hours and see if anything happens and then they'll try Pitocin kind of like as the last thing and um, yeah I know you want some of that ice cream. Yes. <laughs> oh my gosh, here we go. Baby baby daddy. Sure you can turn it up. But um now it's, uh, now it's just a waiting game. No, what was 66. it? Sixty six. I'm hot. <laughs> We're watching Bones, but that's all for now. We don't really have any updates. What are you eating over there? A mango. A delicious mango. <laughs> okay, so update. I'm on the birthing ball now. It, what time is it? 
It's 8.20. So one more hour, and then they're going to give me another one of those pills. And she said that I was having contractions, but they just weren't. They don't really hurt or anything like that. So hopefully they keep going. And this can move along quick. You look so cute in that shirt, Daddy. Why, thank you. <laughs> Okay, so I came here to update you guys because we're just sleeping, but it's been probably six hours. They gave me the first half of the pill. I had contractions, but it, they weren't that bad. Then four hours later, they gave me the second part of the pill, and now I'm having consistent contractions every four minutes. I'm trying to get stronger. Um, and uncomfortable, but nothing too bad yet. And it's only been two hours since I've had the second part because they give you like a half. Um, and it is now, it's now 12.30, so I've been kind of sleeping on my side, trying to get some rest because I'm sure they're gonna get intense pretty soon. <laughs> but they still haven't checked me at all, my cervix, so I don't know when they're gonna do that. We'll see. Um, so yeah, now I'm just resting and my body's taken to it really well. So hopefully it just continues by itself and I don't need to get Pitocin, but we'll see. But yeah, that's what's going on. A uh, little update. It's 4.45 in the morning. She got her epidural, and she's just about five uh, centimeters dilated now. Um, she's finally getting some rest. So now I got probably another hour, hour and a half, maybe two hours, and then uh, maybe I'll just be here. Exciting times. So now we're at six o'clock, and the doctors came in and checked. She's fully dilated in uh, the last two babies that she had. She only pushed once or twice, so we should have a baby out of here in a few minutes. Daddy holding Autumn for the first time. <laughs> you just calmed her right down. Of course, with the with the special head rubbings, huh? Yeah, so she just hit the wrong. Yeah. <laughs> hey guys, so we finally got put into our postpartum room because the epidural was like my leg was so numb I couldn't lift it. So they were waiting for me to, my leg to be able to move. So now we're in here. And there's baby Autumn. There she is. She's so freaking cute. But this is kind of what the room looks like. It's kind of small. And then this extends out to a bed. So it's kind of small. But oh my gosh, she's the sweetest. Okay, so this is what happened. So last night we come in at four. We don't really get medicine till like six maybe. Um, so they hook me up. They give me the first half of the pill. Um, anyways, so we go four hours. They monitor me and I start really infrequent contractions that don't really hurt so they give me my second one like at 9 or 9 30 and that's what kickstarts my labor and they start off at five minutes apart and then after an hour they're like three minutes apart so around i want to say 
after the four hours, so they check you every four hours to give you another pill. Well, after the first, the second four hours, they didn't need to give me any more pills because I was contracting every three hours and it, they're pretty strong. So they kind of monitored me for another hour. And then um, they checked me and I was like at a four, four and a half. So they brought me then upstairs to my delivery room and that's where they gave me my epidural right away. Uh, my doctor checked me four and a half. Um, after I got an epidural, I got up there at four. Actually, I think I got up there at three. At three, I got up there because I had the baby at six. And after I got my epidural, it was just literally two hours. And I went from a four and a half to a ten. And actually, when she, when I was going to deliver she checked me and he was she was already coming out she was already right there and so the so he kind of quickly got the room ready and um he like put my legs up on the stirrups and he's like telling my husband look 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 she's just coming out on her own and her head was just slipping out and I had one push the head was out second push that wasn't very strong he's like just push a little bit and the whole body came out so she came out super fast which I usually go pretty fast once I'm in active labor so it was a great epidural ex or great epidural and indu induction experience honestly it was absolutely amazing um, the last four hours when they gave me the second pill was rough because I kind of kick-started at five minutes like and it started out pretty strong, my contractions, which usually is what happens when I go into labor by myself. Um, but I just put earphones in, music on, listen to Selena Gomez's rare album like three or four times. And my husband just slept and I just like, you know, just breathed through them until we got moved. And then he got up and he held my hand and stuff like that. They wouldn't allow us to film the delivery, but it was really great, and I love her. She's so sweet, and I hope you guys enjoyed watching the video, and yeah, she's here finally. <laughs> little girl. Love my little girl. We love you, Autumn Rose.